have to remember that uh, Solar Impulse is flying in a domain which has never been explored. And we have two major questions. First of all is how to control this airplane, for example, in turbulence. And the second question is how to avoid a very well-known phenomenon which is called aeroelasticity. Aeroelasticity is when aerodynamic forces are in resonance with the vibration of this airplane, amplify this vibration in flight until, for example, the wing breaks. What we are doing here is to verify that the model we did, all the simulations which has been developed over the last two years, are in line with what we can test, are in line with the true frequency of this airplane. And we make all the parts of this airplane vibrate to find these resonance frequencies, resonance frequencies of the wings, of the fuselage, of the motor gondolas. Last year we did a similar test with just the skeleton of this airplane. Uh, that was the first verification of the, uh, of the models. Today we have the entire airplanes. And the entire airplanes is of course much larger because the wings are completely shaped here. The weight of the wing is very close to the weight of the air mass which is around the wing. And if this wing vibrates, the air mass around it will just dampen this vibration and reduce the frequency. Something which is very difficult to calculate, which we have to test here. And that's what we are doing today. What we also wanted to do is to have the pilot sitting in the cockpit when we do this vibration test. And that's exactly what I just experienced, uh, feeling the entire structure vibrating close to the resonance frequencies and seeing basically these wings moving forward and backward was very, very impressive. 